Welcome. Today I have two very special guests with me today. <gasps> Here they come. Cell phones down when I'm talking. <laughs> they just, oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome. I have two guests with me today that are going to try the art lesson. And Ms. McCoy. Hello. Ms. Lois Salmonson. Good morning. And today we're going to do contour line drawings and paintings using these peacock feathers. Right. So to start out with, we're going to do a contour line drawing. So we were looking at the peacock feathers that you saw earlier in this movie, and we'll just be drawing those today. So I'm looking mostly at that feather and just remembering, as my friend Bob Ross says, they're not mistakes, they're happy accidents. All three of us were saying there was something we didn't like about our painting. But like I always tell you guys, and we'll continue to, Sometimes that little mistake ends up being somebody else's favorite part of the whole thing. So I always try to look at the direction things are going, how far apart they are from each other. And I was surprised at how few feathers there, or wispies there actually are on a peacock feather. So it was super fun for me just to get to study that thing that you're drawing. So don't rush through it just to get it done. Really get into it and enjoy it. You guys, as always, are doing fantastic and now I've got a nice little contour drawing and I'm ready to start with my creative color. So we used just basic basic watercolor palettes, the cheap ones, but you can use so many different things. I was even thinking of things in your kitchen you could use for paint if you added some water to food coloring or to spice turmeric. My art teacher cousin just did a lesson on painting with coffee. So look around juice, so many things stain. And those things that stain in your kitchen, add water to them and paint with them. And I bet those natural colors will even be prettier than some of the other ones. So we got ideas from each other. So don't hesitate to do this with a family member and ask for help. See what the people in your house know. Oh, they are doing so good. Look at those. I love how different each one looks. It's kind of fun to have some students once in a while, as long as I can keep them six feet apart. So here we go. Just a few finishing things. We decided to do a vignette or a gradient around the edges. So just remember to add pure water on top of that watercolor paint um, to get that color to lighten up throughout and then fade just into the white. So a little bit of water, then I had to wipe that color off my brush, otherwise the color continues to stain. So just get that nice dusting. I love doing those stippling dots, so relaxing, so fun. Um, it had a little time so I did an extra sign it with a heart Woo! nice job ladies how fun was that so just be like Kelly and Lois and stay creative see you guys next time